rat, then he could be depleting his stores of, of glutamine, and that could be a problem. But probably not so much of an issue for him. Uh, whey protein wouldn't hurt, and then maybe a, a gram of glutamine powder along with it. And last but not least, I love N-acetylcysteine for all immune health issues. We'll be talking about N-acetylcysteine. It's a major component of glutathione. 100 to 300 or 400 milligrams a day of NAC can be helpful for all immune boosting strategy, uh, all immune boosting needs for helping support immune health. All right, David. Okay. Got to move, right, got to move on. Thanks. I hope I see you on Thursday. Thanks so much for your call, bro. All right, Sam in Pennsylvania. Welcome to the bright side. What's going on, my man? Hey, man. How are you, bud? Doing good. How you doing? All right. Thanks, man. Uh, had a question. Um, what? How, how do you feel about? Or what do you know about the difference between intermittent fasting like every other day yeah, versus what your good friend uh, uh, was on, was on the call a couple of times? Tabidi, Tabidi yeah, when he's, when he's doing... Two weeks in a row, right? Uh, yeah. Here's the deal with intermittent fasting. You want to surprise the body. And I, I like intermittent fasting. I know Tabidi does long-term fast. He's just He just likes the high that you get off of fasting, and you do get a kind of high when you fast. It's one of the neat things about fasting is your brain will secrete intoxicating chemicals, not in a bad way, but just in a good way. And that's one of the body's mechanisms for making sure you have the wherewithal to go out and find food. In fact, drug companies are actually looking into some of these brain chemicals that are secreted when we fast. They're called orexins, O-R-E-X-I-N-S, and these orexins give you energy, and they make you feel happy, and they make you feel strong and vital. And I think Tabidi might be a, kind of like that. I don't want to say he's addicted to it, but he, he, he likes that. And a lot of people who fast like that. But as far as bodybuilding goes, as far as building tissue, building muscle, supporting the immune system goes, it's the intermittency that you're looking for. You want to surprise the body. But you, want, you don't want the body to be able to predict when a fast is going to happen, so it never knows. when. See, when we fast, the body thinks it's a famine. And you want the body to not know when there's going to be a famine happening, to be surprised. And that way it has to, it has to always be ready. And that's when you get your maximum building of tissue, so the body is always prepared. If it, if it knows when there's a fast, coming, if you fast predictably for the body, the body doesn't have to build as much. It doesn't, it, it can kind of slow down the metabolism a little bit and that's not what you're looking for. What you're looking for is a building response and that is a function of the intermittency, the surprise factor. So if you're going to fast every other day, don't do it in a routine. Just do it once in a while or, or, or do Mondays and Tuesdays and then skip Wednesdays or, or maybe do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday the next week and then skip Thursday. Kind of figure out a way to surprise the body. Don't give the body a routine. Give the body, a, make the sure the fasting is happening in an intermittent fashion so your body doesn't know when to expect the fast or when to expect the lack of foods coming in, and it will just be prepared at all times, and that's what you're looking for. Did I explain that well, Sam? I think Phil, I was yeah, that, a little that, bit awkward. that's great, because I've been doing that. Uh, I started doing that about since the beginning of the year, every other and? day uh, fasting, and it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. Isn't it awesome? Are you noticing that you feel high on the days that you fast, like kind of just, just feel really good? Yeah, I, uh, it feels light and, yeah, light and easier to breathe, and it's excellent. Awesome. And then you get um, you get this reset because on the next day you're you're eager to get up earlier in the morning and start making breakfast earlier. So it's isn't that cool? Awesome. Isn't that cool, Sam? That's the kind of strategies that are so simple to employ. They're cheap. They're easy. You don't need a doctor. You don't need the medical model. We can do it ourselves. And nothing exemplifies what I call the bright side philosophy more clearly and more powerfully and more concisely than this idea of intermittent fasting, exploiting uh, uh, caloric restriction, taking advantage, leveraging caloric restriction, just to feel better and to accelerate the healing process, reduce the load on the body, in addition to uh, helping build tissue and helping uh, increase the anabolic anti-aging growth response. Thanks so much for your call, Sam. Appreciate it. Got to move on. Let's see if we can get uh, a couple more in here. Uh, uh, Susan in Michigan, uh, what's going on? I've got about a minute or two to talk to you. Hi, hi, so, uh, pharmacist Ben. I've talked to you before. I don't have adrenal glands, so what would you suggest instead of doing steroids every day? Don't, don't. You got your adrenal glands are your stress management glands. You have to love your body, nurture your body, tell your body it's safe, and there's lots of ways to do it. The general concept is you need to tell the body it's safe. Now, how do you tell the body it's safe? Well, you can actually talk to your body. Just talking to your body will will have some benefit telling your body it's safe. But what you really want to do is tell your body it's safe with oxygen number one because that's the biggest survival 
survival threat is oxygen, a uh, lack of oxygen. So make sure you're breathing slowly and correctly. You should be really, really paying attention to your breathing techniques. Everybody should be, but especially you, Susan. Uh, get the Bio Breathing app or My Calm Beat app on your smartphone and do it every day. Uh, you also want to make sure you're using enough Celtic sea salt. The adrenal glands regulate salt. You may have some. You may start to experience some potassium problems or sodium problems, magnesium problems, salt problems in general. I'd be using Celtic sea salt. Vitamin C is very, very important. It's the anti-stress vitamin, uh, and the adrenal glands use a lot of vitamin C. Without adrenal glands, uh, you may have to just make sure that you're taking enough vitamin C for their anti-stress benefits. Make sure you're using all your liquid nutrients. Your liquid nutrients are your anti-stress nutrients, and that means vitamin C and the B complex and the electrolytes, of course. You know the best source of all of those liquid nutrients is the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. I would be sipping on it all day long. And then make sure you don't put any extra burden on your body. Don't put any extra work on your body or don't give your body any extra work to do. Eat far less food. Only eat when it's absolutely, absolutely, absolutely necessary when you're feeling really hungry. Notice the difference between foods, between eating for hunger, eating when you need it, and just eating socially or eating emotionally. That's probably the single most important thing to do because you want to keep your blood sugar stable. The adrenal glands pick up the slack when your blood sugar drops and you don't want your blood sugar to drop uh, precipitously so that you would have to have some kind of adrenal gland support because you don't have adrenal glands and in large part that's why they're giving you steroids is to control that high blood sugar low blood sugar roller coaster keeping your blood sugar stable will be very important susan making sure you stay away from refined sugars and make sure you're using whey protein on a regular basis all protein really but especially whey protein all right there's so much more to talk about susan that was not comprehensive but that should give you a bunch of ideas a good place to start all right if i left you on hold again i am so sorry i apologize try to call back tomorrow we'll get you first up i'm pharmacist ben thanks so much for listening folks we will talk to you all later have a wonderful beautiful day bye for now Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy bodies products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. Big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you. Has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day, unique affordable survival. Survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866 229 0927. 866 229 0927. Or visit mypatriotsupply.com for emergency preparedness, self reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotsupply.com.